and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Circumcision and the Feast of St. Basil the Great. And I want to wish everyone a good and blessed New Year. Before we read today's Gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, the trampling down all carnal desires. We may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 21, and verses 40 through 52. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the Feast of Passover, and when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. The Word of God. Under Jewish law, circumcision was an outward sign of the covenant between God and his chosen people. We as Christians are also circumcised, but as Paul said in his letter to the Colossians, chapter 2, verse 11, we are circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, that is, the circumcision of Christ. We are not physically circumcised, but through baptism and chrismation, our bond with God is sealed. Praise be to God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks, son.